This is the story of a miracle store with my Doberman Pinscher, Mr. DJ. God allowed this to happen. Several stories are involved. One day I'm walking in the woods with Mr. DJ. He's running. I should have had him on the leash, but did not. He was free. And we were running back in the woods and we came back up toward the house and I noticed he was not there. I looked for him all around the neighborhood, could not find him. One day went by, two days, three days, four days, and I still couldn't find him. I even went to the pound to see if I could find him. Could not find him. He was not there, not picked up. I went searching throughout the neighborhood where they were building new homes to see if he'd been trapped into several of the homes. Looked in all the different rooms, if he could have gotten locked himself in. No, could not find him in several homes, about three or four homes. Now back of one home was a large hole where they had dug for 60, 70 foot pine trees to bury them. I looked in the hole, saw a lot of pine trees, didn't see anything else. Then, all of a sudden, there's my dog in the corner of this 25 foot hole, very deep hole, totally trapped, could not move. I had to go down, climb over a whole bunch of trees and hand carry him out. He was unable to move, but apparently he was all right. He did not break a leg or anything else that I could tell. He had not eaten in four days. The funny thing about it, he didn't bark at all to let me know where he was. That's so strange. I fed him, of course, and he ate like a, like a beyond pig. He was starved, but he did not let me know. That's so strange, that's all I can say. Just so strange that he did not bark to let me know where he was. He was about nine years old then. About two and a half years later, 11 and a half, veterinarian told me that my dog had cancer of the jaw and only had several weeks to live. He would be in pain. So I was forced to euthanize him at that time so he would have no pain. And that was done. I went home approximately three to four weeks after he was euthanized I'm sitting in the bed with my wife watching TV. This dog was an outside dog, was inside very little, mostly outside and I walked him every day thousands of miles. I'm sitting in the bed and all of a sudden I smell a dog under my nose, very strong smell of a dog. I asked my wife if she smelled a dog. She said no. She came over the spot where I was. She could not smell any dog. I smelled it for approximately 20, maybe 25 seconds, right under my nose. This was a Doberman smell, specific smell the Dobermans have. But I didn't relate it to my dog dying. I just figured somehow I'm smelling dog. I didn't think about it disregarded it. And then about three to four weeks later, I'm in my car. My dog has never been in the car. I'm driving to a photo lab to have work done, 20 miles from my home. I turn the corner and once again, under my nose is the strongest smell of dog. The same smell I smelled in my bed, a Doberman smell right under my nose, no question about it. And then it hit me. 
I said, God is allowing my dog to come back and visit, to tell me that he's okay. It's just unbelievable. And I accepted that. My dog came back. And if you read several books on heaven, dogs and butterflies have been reported in heaven. No other animal has been seen. So when you pass yourself, your dogs will be waiting for you. And I'll look forward to seeing my dog again. He was a wonderful dog and I loved him to death. And that's the two miracles God allowed to happen, having him come back and visit in two different locations. Very powerful.